Hey guys, welcome to Stockbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own media center for your personal home videos or movies you have downloaded to make it look like Netflix. If you have a lot of family videos like me, including photos, and you want to organize them well and be able to view them online, then this video will help you do that. If you have your own personal movie collection as well as MP3 music that you ripped from a CD, then you can use the same procedure that I'm about to show you. We'll use Google Cloud Platform to create VM instance and we'll download a program called MB. You can use MB for your Mac and Windows computer if you just want a local media center. Or you can use Ubuntu on Google Cloud like what I'm about to show you. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I create Google and Mac tutorials every week. So the first thing we want to do is go to our Google Cloud Platform. Let's go to our Compute Engine and click VM Instance. And from here, we're going to create a new VM Instance. So click Create button. Let's name our instance. We're going to name it MB. And then for region, I'm going to leave it as is, which is Central. Pick the closest region to you. And for processor, I'm going to leave it as E2. You can increase the processor, but just make note that the price will increase if you increase the processor. I'm also going to increase the memory on this from 4 gigs to 8 gigs. And then the next thing we need to do is go to your boot disk and change this to Ubuntu. Go to operating system and click Ubuntu. And we want the latest one, which is 20.04. I'm going to increase the size of the hard drive from 10 gigs to 30 gigs. If you look at the price, it's now slightly more expensive than we had it before. Now scroll down and go all the way to firewall and allow HTTP and HTTPS. That's all the settings we need, so now click Create button. Now that's done, let's SSH to our VM instance. I'm just going to enter the clear command so the screen is clear. Then the next command we're going to enter is the update command, which is to update the Ubuntu. So I'm going to clear this again, type the clear command. And then next thing we want to do is type the upgrade command. So type in this command. And then it's going to warn you that it's going to take up this much space. So press Y for yes, and then hit enter. Clear there first. So now that we're done upgrading and updating, let's now download the MB application. Type in wget, and then go to your browser. Then go to MB's website. If you're not there yet, here's the link to that website. So I forgot to record how to get a link, so I'm going to show you how to do it on a newer version of MB. But the step is exactly the same. Now what we want to download is this, the Ubuntu X64. So right click on this link and then click Copy Link Location. In Chrome, it's called Copy Link Address. So now let's go back to our SSH and then paste that link after the wget command and then hit Enter. So that's pretty quick. It's now downloaded MB. Now we need to install it. I'm just going to clear the screen. And in order to install it, we need to be in the root user. But first, we need to set a password for the root user. So enter this sudo command. And then enter the new password. OK, now we can log in. Type in su space root. We'll ask for the password. Enter that. Now we can copy the command from the website, go to MB again and copy this, and then go back to SSH and then paste this. Hit enter. You might get this error. Let's just ignore that. We're going to create a user within MB. So don't close this SSH window yet. We're going to use this again later on. But I'm going to clear this. Now, if we go back to the MB website, it tells us that this is how we're going to access our MB server. But in order for us to do that, we need to open this specific port. I'll show you how to do that. Go back to your Google Cloud Platform, click on the menu over here on the top left, and then scroll all the way down and look for VPC network. 
and select the firewall option. So we're going to create a firewall rule. So click firewall rule. And we're going to name our firewall rule as MB. And then scroll down. Under target tags, type in MB or whatever firewall name you want. And then scroll down to source IP range, type in this. And then the last thing is check TCP and type 8096. And then click create. Great, so that rule has been created. Now let's go back to our VM instance. Then select our media center instance. Click edit. And then scroll all the way down and look for network tags and add MB, which is the one that we just created. While you're here, you can probably edit your static IP if you want to. All you have to do is go to network interface and edit that. We're not going to do it on this tutorial. So we're going to scroll all the way down and click save. Okay, so that's good. I'm just going to scroll up and confirm it. It's still there. So now we're ready to open our media center server. I'm just going to get the IP address over here, copy it, open a new tab, type in your IP address, and then 8096. Since it's our first time logging in, this is what we'll see. Select your preferred language. Click Next. And for username, it gives you MB. I'm going to change that to something else just to be secure. And then create your own password. And then click Next. I'm just going to save this. And then we can set up our library, but we're not going to do that yet. So click Next. For here, we're going to select our language, which is English, and we're going to pick our country. For configure remote access, let's leave all of these checked and then click Next. And we're going to accept the terms and condition. And then we are done. So now it's going to log us out. Let's log back in. Enter our username and password. And we are now logged in. Now the next thing we want to do is create a folder within our Ubuntu server so we have a place to put our movies. Now let's go back to our Google Cloud Platform SSH. We should still have it open. And type the make a folder command and include the folder name. So that's been created. Remember this path, which is home slash stopbox01. We're going to point our MB server to this directory. So go back to MB server. Click the menu in the top left and then select manage MB server. Now scroll down and then look for the library folder. You should see the new library button, click that. For content type, you have a bunch of options over here, but the main thing we're going to be doing right now is home videos and photos. Then click the plus button over here beside the folders. Under folder, put a forward slash, do a search, and then look for home, and then select softbox01. And then within that, we should have our directory that we just created, which is HMovies. So that's done. Click OK. And then OK again. So now our server is set up. We are now ready to upload our movies onto the server. To do that, we're going to use FileZilla to upload files. But in order for us to connect our FileZilla, we need to create SSH keys. If you are finding value on this tutorial so far, please hit the like button to help me out. So now let's open terminal on our Mac. I'm going to clear this, type in the clear command. To generate SSH keys, we're going to type in this command. This command will generate two keys, one private and one public. The public key will be uploaded to our VM instance and we'll use the private key so that we can connect the two. We're going to put the key files under the hidden folder called .ssh and then slash mb, which is the key file name. For dash c, this is our username. So set this to the username that you want. 
hit enter. It will ask you for a passphrase. You don't need to put one, but to make it more secure, enter one. So now let's upload that public key to our VM instance. So copy this folder location, including the .pub, and type cat space in that link. Copy this whole public key all the way from SSH. And now let's go back to our VM instance. Then edit your VM instance. Scroll all the way down and look for SSH keys. So over here, click show and edit and then paste the public key that we just created. That is it, click save. So our public key has been uploaded. Now let's go to our FileZilla and connect to our VM instance. Open FileZilla. Then on the top left, you should see this icon, which is Site Manager. Let's create a new site. Click that. Name it to whatever you want. And for protocol, you want to change that to SFTP. For host, put the external IP address of our VM instance. I'm going to copy that and paste it here. For login type, you want key file. And for user, it's the username that we set it, which is softbox01. And then for key file, we're going to browse and locate that .ssh file key. So in your Mac, that's under users and then your username. And you won't be able to see it here, but press command shift period to show your hidden files and folders. And then you should be able to see .ssh there and then the MB file. Click open. It will ask you to convert the file to .ppk, so click yes. Enter a password for it. And then enter a new file name for that private key. Click save. And for background color, you can choose a color if you want to. I'm going to choose mine green. This will be helpful if you have multiple server that you're trying to connect. Now click OK. We are ready to connect to this, so click on Site Manager and then click Connect. It will give you this normal notification, just verifying that you're connecting to this server. Enter the password that you set it as, and then click OK. And we've now successfully connected to our VM instance. As you can see, we have our HMovies folder that we created, and it's currently blank. So this is where we're going to upload our files. So I'm going to find the files that I want to move to HMovies. So before I drag the whole files here, I'd like to test it with one file first, just to make sure there are no errors. As I expected, we don't have permission to upload files on this folder. So the next thing we need to do is go back to our VM instance and our SSH. I still have mine open here. I'm just going to see the contents of this folder. So I'm going to type in ls-al. So that's wrong. I just need ls-al, which is the list command. Okay, we have that folder here, which is hmovies. To see what kind of permission this folder has, type in this command. And it currently has 755 permission. So let's change that, but first let's clear the screen. And then type chmod space 777 and then the folder name. It accepted the permission. Now we can go back to FileZilla and move our files. I'll select all of these and then drag them to that folder. So I'm going to fast forward this part. You don't need to watch it upload. So it finished uploading. So this should now be available on our MB server. So let's go back to our MB server. And under the library folder, you want to click scan library files. And this should now update and pick up all the files that we just uploaded. So I uploaded four videos. If I click here, you can see my four videos. It gives you that landscape format. If you want to add your own Hollywood movies that you downloaded, I'll show you how that's done. But first, let's go back to our SSH and put back the permission for H movies. Then create a new directory called movies. So I'm going to do mkdir space movies. So the permission on this is most likely going to be 755. So let's chmod to this with 777 and then the folder name. 
Once that's done, right, let's go to our MB server and click new library. And then this time we're going to add movies. And then we'll add the folder that we just created. Do the same thing as last time. Put a slash. Look for home. And then that was also created on Stuffbox01 folder. And then our movies folder. And click OK. And then if you scroll down, there's a few options here. I usually just leave movie DV checked. It will generate its own thumbnail at some point. And then if you have subtitle, add the subtitle. Click OK. And then now we're, let's upload some files using FileZilla. I'm going to find the folder that we created, which is the movies. Open that. And then I'll drag the movie that I have onto this folder. Now I'm not going to show you the progress on this. That should display the movie that you uploaded. Just make sure that once you finish uploading, go back to your SSH and change the permission to 755 on that folder. Next, let's set up a new user for this without the admin credentials. So go to MB server and click users. On the top, you should see new user, click that. And then type the name, the username of the person you're creating for. We're not going to allow this user to manage the server. And then click save once you've done that. After that, click the password tab and then add a password for this user. And then click save. Let's log out of this user to test it out. Click the top right and scroll down. You should see sign out over there. And then let's log into that regular user that we just created. And then sign in. Click save. As you can see, we have our four movies that we uploaded and the Hollywood movie that I also uploaded after that. If you want to learn how to use Google Cloud Platform to host your website, here's my tutorial on that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope this video will help you. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet.